Hi boys and girls, welcome to day one of week 28, Kids Daily Devotion. My name is Auntie Rashida. It's with great pleasure to be sharing with you guys in your Kids Daily Devotion, meaning I am very happy. I love kids and I love sharing the words of the Lord. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I hope you had fun and you ensure that all the COVID protocols were being followed. All right, let's get right into our lesson for today. Our scripture reading for today is from Esther 7, verse 3 to 6, and our remember verse is Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. Our scripture reading for today is from Esther 7, reading from verse 3 to 6. We'll first read from the King James Version. Then Esther the queen answered and said, If I have found favor in thy sight, O king, and if it please the king, let my life be given me at my petition and my people at my request. For we are sold, I and my people, to be destroyed, to be slain, and to perish. But if we had been sold for bondmen and bondwomen, I had held my tongue, although the enemy could not countervail the king's damage. Then the king Ahasuerus answered and said unto Esther the queen, Who is he, and where is he, that durst presume in his heart to do so? And Esther said, The adversary and enemy is this wicked Haman. Then Haman was afraid before the king and the queen. The New International Reader's Version reads, Then Queen Esther answered, Your Majesty, I hope you will be pleased to let me live. That's what I want. Please spare my people. That's my appeal to you. My people and I have been sold to be destroyed. We've been sold to be killed and wiped out. Suppose we had only been sold as male and female slaves. Then I wouldn't have said anything. That kind of suffering wouldn't be a good enough reason to bother you. King Ahasuerus asked Queen Esther, Who is the man who has dared to do such a thing? And where is he? Esther said, The man hates us. He's our enemy. He's this evil Haman. Then Haman was terrified in front of the king and queen. Here in that portion of God's holy words, we honor it by saying, Thanks be to God. Okay. Wow. Look at this passage of scripture. Queen Esther. All right, let's get right into what we have just read. Queen Esther invited her husband, the king, Ahasuerus, and Haman to have dinner with her. Queen Esther had a plan, which was to tell the king all about the plans that Haman had against the Jews. And the queen, being the wife of the king, would somehow receive favor on her side. Even though the king was aware of Haman's plan, hearing it from his wife Esther softened his heart. When Esther said to the king, My king, I am Esther thy wife. I have come to you to let you know what's going to happen. If you hurt any of these my people, you will hurt me. I have to say something now, my king. If you had us as slave in this land, we wouldn't find it easy to complain because we are still we still have life and we'll be able to eat. But having us being killed, having us being punished for things that we have never done, will cause great hurt to us, all the Jews. The king surmised everything that Esther, his queen, was saying. He wanted to know who was that man who would do such harm to the Jews 
and she pointed him out saying it is that wicked man Haman that one that is feasting with us right now my boys and girls I want you to understand something from this lesson today it doesn't matter who you are or what you have stand for what is right God will reward you God will send help God will have someone to give a listening ear to your petition God will give someone to you who will assist you out of your darkest times be ready to do what is right. It pleases God and it pays off. Okay, boys and girls, let's apply what we have learned today to our own heart and life. God used an ordinary girl to save her people. Sometimes we feel like we have to be really smart or talented or know just the right path to be used by God. But God can choose anyone to fulfill his extraordinary plans. Your activity for today, guys, complete the maze. Those without your daily reading books, you can go ahead and just use your finger, match your screen, and to complete the maze. Those with your books, you can just go right ahead and complete your activity in the space provided. Okay, boys and girls, I had a fun, fantastic time with you today. But before we go, let's just say this part together, followed by our memory verse. With our hands clasped and our eyes closed. Heavenly Father, thank you for using people like me to fulfill your mighty plans. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, that's it for today. Have a fantastic day. And do remember to do something that is right before God. Have a superb day. Our week's memory verse is from Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. The New International Reader's Version reads, the Lord our God keeps certain things hidden, but he makes other things known to us and to our children forever. He does it so we can obey all the words of this law. The King James Version reads, The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law.